Energy efficiency is and will continue to be an essential element of competitiveness for the European companies of the textile and clothing industry. CESEC has rolled out tools specifically aimed at reducing energy consumption in the clothing industry. Thanks to the 28 energy audits performed in five European countries, CISEC has analysed the energy consumption of different types of clothing companies. CISEC has first developed specific benchmarks to assess energy efficiency. It has then created three tools to help companies optimise their energy consumption. By following the operational guidelines contained in the Energy Saving Scheme and using the three related software tools, a company can assess its energy consumption, evaluate possible solutions and calculate the return on investment. The one with the most impact in our case was the SAT. The SAT showed us, based on our production reality, where we should adopt new measurements of energy efficiency. After data, such as the country in which the company is based, the kind of production, its turnover and energy bills has been entered, the SAT compares the indices for energy consumption and energy costs with sector benchmarks. By analysing consumption, the SAT makes it possible to identify the most suitable best practices from among the dozens available. Compressed air accounts for between 5 and 20% of electricity consumption. Replacing a compressed air distribution network in which the steel piping is clearly corroded with a new network in aluminium requires a limited investment and has a payback time of less than one year. By making the necessary changes, it is possible to improve the energy efficiency of a compressed air system by an estimated 5 to 20 percent. As for compressed air, an important cost item for us, we identified a number of problems. We purchased new machines using different technologies. We looked at the entire compressed air distribution system and we trained the staff. The result was a drop in energy consumption from 87 kilowatts to 31 kilowatts a month. As for the lighting system, the replacing of obsolete neon tubes with modern LED tubes gives a 50% saving in lighting costs, an investment that will become even more profitable over time. Since about nine months, we use in our company for a test for a test period LED uh, lighting. Uh, till now, we are very satisfied because of the uh, increase of the economy uh, of about 58 percent, and uh, the working conditions uh, are even better than with the forests and labs. An improvement in the energy efficiency of the ventilation and humidification systems, together with adequate insulation, produces a saving of between 10 and 30 percent in electricity consumption. The reactive power used by electric motors, for example, is stored for a few fractions of a second before being released into the grid. The installation of a simple phase advancer helps reduce total electricity costs by between 10 and 20 percent. As soon as possible, we installed the power correction units in order to compensate the reactive consumptions. The total amount that was reduced is by 20 percent compared to the previous invoice today. In addition to the tools of the Energy Saving Scheme, CESEC has also produced and made available 14 training modules and training events to empower the company's most precious resource, its people. The tools and training modules can be downloaded free of charge at www.euratex.eu forward slash CESEC.